How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Wanted to hop on here and make just a trading view charts setting video, I guess. Um, as well as kind of go over the indicators I use. Got a comment on one of the videos as well as a couple people asking in the Discord. Um, so I'll also be going over like the candlestick colors. You know, these are just normal ICT colors or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, you know, we'll go over the mean threshold, the OTE, just the regular box with the line at EQ, normal line, quarterly theory, and then the STD as well. Um, we'll just kind of hop into it, go from there. All right, going into the chart settings, everything is black, all right, except the bodies, right, black bodies on the black candles, outlines, and wicks right and then only one green body some people will put this you know as this gray right here or this lighter gray or even sometimes closer to white right but honestly has no effect to me so all right uh you know i don't know if any of this has a big effect uh right some of this stuff doesn't really matter well, this stuff does, actually. I'm going to uh, fix this because some of this is wrong because I just noticed what it is, but I've never paid attention to it. All right? This is all of this. I don't know if any of this is important. All right? And everything's instant. You know, I usually show executions if I need to. Uh, and then events. All right? I have the line saved as favorite as well as... Right? Consequent encroachment, mean threshold. These are the same, so... You know, one of these is like, this is white, but I always just usually use mean threshold because it's the same thing, All right? We have my OTE fib here, and then the uh, STD fib as well, All right? All right, we have the quarterly theory, or the quarterly theory GAN box, All right? And you can find this right here. Right, we get into the settings for this. Right, we have these saved templates that I don't really use. So I just keep it all black. Here's all the settings. Right, nothing down there. And honestly, you can turn the background down like a little bit. Uh, but, it, you know, it's all to preference. Right, but I'll probably turn the background on this down a little bit. Um, but it's just, you know, a specific preference. All right. Getting into the indicators, I have the FX4. Right. I use these four. I have all these listed, but right. Clearly, I have them listed, but only use these four. Right. With this being the day, our day quarterly theory by two degrees, I use the FX4 model by two degrees. You can use the quarterly cycle by waffles and then, um, the AFG watermark just for so I can put this on there right but for this one usually there's uh, one of them has like a little chart in the bottom I don't know it's this one it has this little chart in the bottom um, let's see if it'll pop up it has this chart yeah, I just usually take that off there's no need for that turn the order flow development off as well as the FX accumulation range um, and then uh, dashed, dotted, solid. All right, this one won't load here, but you can see it on like a smaller time frame. Uh, it'll be at the bottom, and it, it'll just show your quarterly theories right here. All right, and then, you know, if you want to use this. This one's kind of harder to see, but you can, you know, start here, start here. All right, shows your New York open, London open, uh, Fuck, whatever that is. I don't know. I don't know what PMO is off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, everything on this. Right, quarters at the top. You can even go back, go to the daily chart as well and see it there. Right, you can go to the four or one hour, show your weekly cycles. But I usually don't use that one as much just because I use it so much. I just, you know, kind of just know what time we're in or, you know, whatever. 
I finished the video and forgot to show this, so I'm going to just show it real quick. Right with the box, you have your setting and your style, middle line, then the background as well. And then you can put a text in the middle or whatever you want to do. Right, put it inside, right, outside, top, bottom, whatever. Trying to keep it short here, but also another little thing you can do, right, if you get your line, right, you see it's just your simple line. Right, one, if you click once and you clicked in the wrong spot, you can always right click, it'll disappear. You can go over or under whichever candle you want. Right, we go to this candle, hold control, and it'll magnetize to the candle. You see it connects to the candle bottoms and tops. And then I can click, right? And then if you want to just put a straight line, you can hold shift, and it'll bring your line out, right? Left and right, straight line. And then if I want to click it, I can click it, right? And I can also always click on it, backspace. You see how I didn't have to click the delete button, right? It's up here. Just hit backspace, okay? And then one like the last, it's not really important, but right, you can put your buy sell side of the model with this little arching thing, right, and this thing, uh, the curve. And then, uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this or not, but I copy trade as well on TradingView, not on NinjaTrader, not on Trade of 8. Um, it's with Apex, right, that's one of the best to copy trade with just because how many accounts you can have. Um, but, right, I do it on here. Through the Ninja Trader copier, it costs like three hundred or one hundred fifty dollars, however much, right? But then you can trade up to twenty accounts with Apex on the TradingView app, right? I'm not on the Ninja Trader app, not on TradingView. I'm, I'm excuse me, I'm not on Trade of it. I'm strictly on TradingView, and I can copy trade. And gonna be the last couple things here. Just trying to you know make a short video for the simple questions, right? You make a line. All my templates, right? We have our Turtle Soup Breaker Buy Side. Uh, IFEG, uh, immediate rebalance, order block, s uh, stop loss, SMT with an SMC circle soup, sell side liquidity, VI, right? I don't have all that, right? I don't have too much. Um, and, right, as well as, you know, I have another screen, right? Two screens, nothing too crazy, right? I can't go up, can't, well, I can go down, but, right, I can't pull it off. And I can't go to the right either. I can go strictly to the left though. You see, I can just pull it real fast and whatnot. Um, but that's, you don't, I mean, you don't need two screens. You can always, right, just, uh, you know, do it like this. Put training view like this or, you know, do something like that if you really, really want to. But, um, you know, I think that's all of my, uh, all of my settings, right? I use Tradeavate, like I said, copy trade on trading view. Um, if anybody wants a tutorial how to do that, it's pretty simple, but I can, you know, make it, uh, cause, right, it wasn't, you know, I just recently learned how to do that, so, right, that's only recently been able to be a game changer for me, um, but, yeah, US dollar, have all these over here, have YM, and the reason I put YM here is just cause it's blue with NAS, um, so, right, if I'm, right, just wanting to click, quick look at over here, I don't want to click on the wrong one, right, um, obviously, I'm never going to buy or sell the wrong one. I haven't done that yet, but uh, obviously, I want to make sure I'm on NAS and have the micros above each of the normal ones. Bitcoin down here in gold, uh, you know, US CAD, JPY, Australian, or Euro, and then Australian, British pound. Well, I don't think I have Australian. I thought I did. Yeah, I'm just a dumbass, but and then Bitcoin, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, right, not too long of a video here. Just wanted to hop on, you know, show the chart settings. Um, hopefully I didn't forget any, right? We have a brush on here, but I don't really use the brush just to just for videos. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to look around, but I don't think there's going to be anything else. So, you know, if you enjoyed this video, just leave a like, right? Just simple, right, 5-10 minute video for you guys just to, you know, show, right, the exact chart settings that I use and... You know, just so if you ever want your chart to look like mine or even just see one setting that you like or something like that, you know, might try and just help you guys out. Um, but, yeah, I also, you know, change the line thickness, I guess. I don't know. But that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys, you know, can use this and use it to your advantage. I'll see you all in the next one.